Sir, I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> this guy right here, and this, Stranger Things. And that's for you. Oh, Stranger Things. Oh, Stranger Things. Oh, Stranger Things. I love your Sith Web shit, man. That's fucking awesome. Uh, Sorry, what, stuff. Sorry, that was what did you write it on? I've been curious about that. Well, so I, that's I'm for you, Stranger Things. So I, I work with the composer, Kyle. Uh-huh. No, I, I'm so, yeah. just trying to figure out if they used an 80s era synthesizer or if it was a new one. No, no, they used an 80s era. That's what I thought. Yeah. They, 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 they use a Casio, too? Yeah, I know they have some cats. Would you like a, a fruit bar? Uh, sure. For you. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, this is what Bessie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, So, between Stranger Things and Game of Thrones, like, yeah. what was like the hard, was it a hard shift between each show? Um, you know, it, 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 it was seems like it would be a hard shift, but it actually was pretty smooth. Uh, it's refreshing for me. Uh, you know, it's like, I could, I could, uh, and both shows were, you know, were postponed for production at the same time. So I, I was, I was, we were working on Game of Thrones and I was running across the street and then working, you know, fixing a music cue on Stranger Things and running back. So that was, to me, refreshing because I, I could, I could switch gears. And, and so you didn't have any kind of like, like bleed over. Where, no. You know, <laughs> I should have actually slipped some vintage synth stuff into the Game of Thrones. <laughs> that that would have been cool. would be awesome. <laughs> Or, or right. coffee cup. Yeah. Did, you, did, you wa- did you watch the uh, honest trailer of Stranger Things? Yeah. Did you see the part where they uh, where they, they bring up about the uh, skip intro? They're like, no, I love this music. <laughs> Sorry, I had to bring it up. Sorry, Spawn. Yeah. Sorry, it's watch the later. Only one you Yeah, I don't skip yeah. that. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. I wish, I wish it was longer, to be honest with you. I think it's yeah. a little too short. Yeah. Well, well I, I, I listen to a lot of synth wave, like when I construct things. So, like, and what I listen to is you're my top thing I listen to. <laughs> like, like literally, like I listen to the whole thing. And like, and like, there's this one thing uh, by uh, DJ, what, who the fuck it is. But like, it starts off with your thing, and like, it, it's like they call it the Stranger Things mix, and like, it's oh, like yeah. they start with that, and they have like five different remixes of your stuff. <laughs> Like, Go ahead. So piggybacking off of that, like, yeah. do you have a specific music uh, genre that you dial into in order to like cleanse, like get like a palate cleanser from everything that you work with? Um, not really. I mean, I, I, I love music and I, and I love uh, film scores. I love the way music is used in, in TV and film. So I, that gives me like, I, I, so I have a broad uh, liking of all, all sorts of. I mean, Stranger Things has definitely inspired me to to, read, to look back again at the past in the '80s and to go on a, like on a deep dive of things that maybe I had missed because I grew up listening to like all the Duran Duran and Human yep. League songs that we that we know. But the good the, stuff. when I was like, well, what happened? You know, the Human League album I love. They were like, they put out two records before that that I don't ever listen to. So I've been sort of doing that lately, finding out like what you know. No, deep dive yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. So what do you listen to now? Yeah. Hmm. We just reinv- started bringing the cult back, which we hadn't listened to in a while. We're like, oh, wow, that stuff was awesome. Especially all the Why stuff. Why did we stop listening to it? <laughs> well, but the new album sucks, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The new cult album? The new, oh, new yeah. cult. 2016 it came out. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Last, no, October. Yeah. The new one that came out, like, came out in October. Yeah, what, yeah so, I mean... I mean, I'm, I'm in the sort of same synth wave kind of. I've been listening to that too. I, I mean, I enjoy like uh, going on Spotify and finding playlists. Um, same with SoundCloud too. They have a lot of synth wave artists and, and uh, uh, people that are uh, you know, going on that sort of early 80s deep dive playing uh, like vintage synths. And, um, and, and what I started, because I have a band too called Dream System 8, which we, 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 use, we use like all the same synthesizers that like the human. Use when they recorded Dare. And that was sort of our, our goal as well. So I, from sort of working on Stranger Things, I got inspired with their, you know, all the stuff they were doing with the score. That we um, have you heard of the band uh, Nightclub? They they did the music for remember that, remember that show that was one time called Oz, uh, Moonbeam Th- City. That, that was like a very like Duran Duran artwork like cartoon. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the guys do the music. They're they're um they're called Nightclub. Okay. And they're playing at Bar Sinister's anniversary on August 10th. Really? Give me the heads up, because you're LA, you're an LA guy. So. I am, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bar yeah. Citizens, uh, an, uh, thir- 21st anniversary, uh, August 10th. They're okay. playing it. Right. Give me the heads up, because you're a Sith Wave guy. So. Yeah, 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 way into it, yeah. yeah. Sorry, go ahead, guys, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. You said Dare. Dare. Yeah, you said the song Dare, right? Uh, I'm, it's an album. It's an album. It's an album. Okay. 
first thing that came to my mind was that Transformers. was the one with Don't You Want Me Baby, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I remember the other one, like I Engineer and the one with Heart Like a Wheel and uh, right. Human. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, Dare was a unique sound. I think they were third album. This is one that broke out, though. Right, yeah, yeah. that was their first. But before that, they had these two albums that were really dark kind of stuff. Yeah, see, I, I've never heard those either. I know, <laughs> yeah. really One's called Empire and the Oh, wow. Have you heard the remix of the uh, Streets of Rage uh, theme music yet? Which Streets of Rage? No, no, Streets Street, of, Street of Rage, the video game from the 90s. No, I, haven't I, just, heard I, I just heard that the other day, and I'm like, it's fucking awesome. I had to tell you that, sorry. Okay. Question is, okay, yeah. how many seasons of American Horror Story have you done as far as all of them? Uh, I, Thank you. I was on from the beginning, since, um, uh, since season one. Okay. Uh, so, uh, as a music editor. And we've, we've changed composers along the way, but I, I, I been a part of the show since the beginning. Okay, since so that, the murder house. So that means that you, mm, you you're old school. Yeah. You, you've had an opportunity to say, well, this is my favorite, this is my least favorite. Like what genre or what, what what season was like something that was the most inspiring for you when it comes to music? You know? Yeah, I mean when it comes to music I feel like um, hotel was was um, good. Really? It was enjoyable for me, yeah. Which I, we used a lot of great songs. Mm-hmm. Some of the so, uh, I'm trying to think of I uh, used um, uh, She Likes Revenge. Oh, well, that's right. The, uh, yeah, yeah. I could. It, it just it, it was very reminiscent of Bar Sinister and shit. Right. Sorry. Which is who's the artist? Or, uh, uh, she Likes Revenge is the name of the band. Okay. There's another, there's another song that we use that was... Uh, something from Bauhaus, Bauhaus. Yeah. Bauhaus. You lose a lot of old school guys. There were a lot of tricky, like, edits. Music, yeah. Music edits. Yeah. Yeah. But also, um, Matt McAvoy's score for that season, I thought was really yeah. fantastic, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So where does your band play? You know, we've we not played a gig yet, ever. So you guys hook up set the whiskey if you want to play the yeah. whiskey. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we actually represent the whiskey. Oh, that's good. Cool. And the, and the straight, yeah. 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 Well, we're, we're working on it. It's just, it's a, it's a duo. It's me and my friend Eric. Um, Before we Coke and Coke. Yes. He plays the, the uh, pizza box. So. No, no, the band broke up. The band broke up, actually. The band broke up. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, we uh, yeah, just, we gotta, we just got to get some time together and get our synths out of the... Well, we gotta rock, rock this up because the yeah. shiny lady told us to shot, rock it up. Pleasure, me. my friend. Nice no, thank you for being cool. Enjoy the magazine and yes. Thanks.